What's going on everybody? This is Afro DJ Mac for ask.audio. And I want to show you some of the newer updates to Push 1. Push 2 has come out and it's really exciting. There's a lot of fun stuff, but Push 1 is still a pretty awesome instrument. And I want to show you some cool things that they've added to it that make it really better than ever. So first thing, um, if we go to create a new track here, one of the things we can now do finally is add plugins like VSTs and audio units. So right now I'm just going to go down and I'll add one of my favorite particular plugins, which is Chip Sounds by Plog. And there it is. Just added, just like a normal instrument inside a live that used to be impossible to do. Um, next thing that's really cool is we can sample our sounds before we hear them. So I'm going inside of Operator, and right away you can hear... I get to preview these different operator patches to see what they sound like before I add it to my project, which is great. Um, and I've got a button here that allows me to turn preview on and off in case I don't want to hear preview, maybe in like a live situation, but right here we can turn it back on and I can say I like that sound and now I've got it for my project. Very cool. Uh, one thing push will do now is it will save your scales. So whatever scale you're in, it will save within the live project. This can be great if you're using an exotic scale like I am right now. Um, I might not remember the notes I'm using if my scale's not saved. So this might get you out of some trouble in the future. Um, if we look into drum racks, one of the nice new things we can do now is we can copy pads from our drum racks to other pads. So right now I've got a drum rack pad with a few empty slots, and I got this little bongo sound. Now if I want to copy it, I'm just going to hold the duplicate button, press the button and the pad, it says pad copied, and now I just hit the pad I want to paste it to, and now I've got it in here. One of the things I like to do with my drum sounds is to, um, say like toms and bongos, I like to copy one so I have something similar and maybe transpose it. So now I got two different sounds, and I might even do that again. Hold duplicate, select my first conga, paste it here, and then I'll give myself a nice low one. So I got a few different drum sounds there, all out of the same sample. Very handy. Another thing you can do with drum racks, if I select this particular instrument here, I can browse by hitting browse, and now I can choose some different sounds for my for my drum racks. And what's really nice you're going to find is preview mode. I can now sample all these different tom samples I have without loading them. So I'm just really quickly just going through them until I find something I like. Yeah, doesn't really matter. We'll say that'll be the one. I'll hit the button and now it's in my project. Again, this is keeping me away from the computer more than ever. Um, if I were to create another new track here, we'll make a MIDI track. And one thing I can do is I can go and add samples. So what I'll do is I'll go into my places and I'm going to go into my Dropbox folder I have here where I keep my Dropbox ideas. Um, highly recommend you keep a Dropbox folder so it's all synced together. And I can just take... Um, well, it just doesn't really matter what I take. I'll take this sound right here, and I'll load it into my project. And now, there it is. And if I go into my device, um, we get some, uh, we've got a simpler, as you can see on the screen here. Now, push 2 would allow me to edit the sample right here. We don't quite get that functionality. But we can go in here, into this instrument. We hit the little arrow here, and now I'm inside the simpler. And I can do some things like I can change the mode from classic to one shot to slicing mode, which is pretty cool. And I can change the sensitivity of my slices, just like I could on push. Go back to my classic mode, say. Um, I can also go deeper in here and access the warp modes, which is a new feature in sampler, a uh, simpler, excuse me. And now I have access to this stuff right inside of my push, again, keeping me away from my computer screen. Another nice handy little feature is if I hold shift and hit record, I enable global record, which allows me to now record into my session view. I'm sorry, to my arrangement view. So whatever I play here, 
we can see is getting recorded into arrangement view. So again, I get to do my work on push without having to pay much attention to the computer screen. And uh, one final thing I just want to show you real quickly is the new functionality for fixed length. So I'm just going to go to uh, my drum pads here. And normally fixed length, if you turn it on, it will, when you hit record, and let's go back to session view so we can see this. As I hit record, it creates a loop based on however many samples I have. Look, and now we're hearing that little bit I recorded into arrange view. We'll just delete that so it doesn't distract us. But right, I got a one bar clip that I can just add my little drum sounds to. Hit record. And you know, I can add in whatever I need in there for my drum sounds. So I'm going to delete that real quick because the part I want to show you is now if I turn fixed length off. I can start recording inside of my session view. And when I press fixed length, it will loop the last bar of my performance. And it, it, you can change the how much it loops. Um, you can do beats, bars, many bars if you like. I've got mine set to one. It will loop the last amount of music that you have selected for fixed length. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start recording and play until I get a, a one bar piece of music that I think is good and I'll hit fixed length and it will loop that bar for me. So hit record, just start playing. So I didn't make a mistake, no worries. what I've done and it will now loop that one bar that I was pretty happy with. So this is kind of a cool thing because now I can spend my time getting my music right and performing and not worrying about getting it perfect until I'm happy with it. I hit fixed length and it loops that piece for me. So those are some updates to push one. Um, the, the instrument has been updated more in the last few updates since Push 2 than probably the entire lifetime of the entire instrument. So um, it's a great time for Push 1 owners. So I hope that helps you and makes you feel pretty good about your Push 1. Uh, thanks very much. Again, it's Afro DJ Mac for Ask.audio.